Hey there, it's Shannon Matchick Myers, and today we'll be looking at a short video which looks at some function, uh, in this case f at x is equal to tangent at x, at a given point, so tangent at pi over 4 has an output of 1, so pi over 4, 1, and we want to find a unit vector first that's parallel to this graph at that point, and then we want to find a unit vector that's perpendicular to the graph at that point pi over 4, 1. So, here we go. The tricky part to this problem is that I'm sure you're all on board about finding, knowing that from your calculus that um, derivative is slope, right? So we need to figure out what the slope of the graph is going to be at this point in order to figure out our vectors. But this problem is kind of a so easy, it's hard problem in that you need to just kind of make up some vector um, that fulfills the requirements of the slope and then find the unit vector for that. And then you draw it onto the point of, you know, the function at that point. So let's check it out. So here we go. We need to find, actually I'll move this one down a little bit because the derivative, we'll be using that work for both problems. All right, so first off, what is f prime at x? Beautiful, that's going to be secant squared at x. And so f prime at pi over 4 is equal to secant at pi over 4, the quantity squared, which is root 2 squared, which is 2. Groovy? Awesome. So now comes the so easy it's hard part. What is a vector that has a slope of 2? So our first component is going to be movement on the x-axis, and our second component will be movement on the y-axis. So if we let some vector w, so remember you need either a hat or an arrow when you're writing uh, to denote vector. Um, so if we let w, the vector, equal to, well, if I start out with 1, so that's my component on the x-axis there, um, or my x component, if you will, first component, um, which would denote my horizontal movement, right? Then a slope of 2, because remember, parallel, parallel uh, lines have the same slope. So we found the slope of the graph at pi over 4 to be 2, right? And so you have a vector, right? A vector that has a slope of two, if you will. So we need this to be a unit vector. So if we have the magnitude of w, that's going to be the square root of one squared, whoa, plus two squared, which is the square root of five, and so our vector, which is parallel to the graph of f at this given point, would just be w divided by its magnitude, which will be the vector 1 over root 5, 2 over root 5. Groovy? And so that is our result. Let's move on to the next one. So a slope perpendicular means what? Beautiful. We need to find some slope, call it, call it m1 times our slope of our graph, which was 2, has to be equal to negative 1. And so m1 is going to be equal to negative one-half, or you just have memorized what? That slopes that are, that a perpendicular slope is the negative reciprocal. So 
we've already done the work, um, so this reflects the work with the, this two reflects the work that we did uh, finding the derivative of f at pi over four. So now to find this one, what we have is our slope is negative one half. And remember y over x is the slope. So here, if we have the, if we assign the negative to the denominator and we would just let our v, some vector v, equal to negative two and then comma one. And then you would have what? Beautiful, your magnitude of V would be the square root of negative two squared plus one squared, which is just going to be root five again. And so V divided by the magnitude of V will be negative two over root five, comma one over root five. So this is a vector which is perpendicular to the function f. Cool, cool? All right then, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And hey, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and tell your friends. Bye.